Good afternoon guys, it's Jenny here from Just Jenny Journaling. Welcome back to my channel. It's a really quick, uh, well I always say that don't I? It's a video share today of this custom order journal that I've just completed. It's, um, um, so this uh, has been ordered as a gift and the uh, lady who's ordered it ordered it as a gift for her friend who will be attending two bible-based circuit assembly uh, programs um in 29 well uh, over the next sort of six months between a sort of autumn and, su and spring next year and um basically she wanted first of all one um a journal and then she came up with the idea of actually having both programs in the one book which I think was absolutely genius, absolutely genius. I hadn't thought of it before. Um, what I will say is, um, it's something I think I will do. I'll be doing them individually, um, bespoke uh, journals for each programme, but I will actually consider doing them as a double, if, if you should so wish. So if you a custom order, please let me know. So this journal, um, what I've done, it's a repurposed uh, book cover. It measures, hmm, it measures uh, 16 centimetres across. It's quite tall, uh, about 24. And the spine on this is just under four centimetres wide, which is just a nice size for the, um, for the journal. I've just done two signatures, as you can see. Um, I've covered it in this beautiful, beautiful vintage fabric, which I love. It's like a vintage chintz, and um, oh, I absolutely love it. And for the um, what's the word uh, closure? I just popped a selection of these beautiful beads um, in different colours, in the pink and the green, and I've just popped them onto these sort of uh, burnished, antique looking. Um, what, what are they called again? Uh, bulldog clips. And that's how it, it, it does up. So that can stay there like that. And I've done it in sort of blues and greens. I don't know if you can see. Blues and greens and all sorts of things. Different colours that actually um, coordinate with all the colours on the fabric. So put that to one side. Let's go straight in. And what I've done is... Um, oh yes, just to say that the recipient loves honeybees and lives in a beautiful little cottage in the country I think and so we wanted it to be um, have some honeybees in it so the first uh, signature is for the first program and I don't, if you notice on the front what I've done is I've basically layered onto some scrapbook paper the scrapbook paper actually does have I've tea dyed it but it has butterflies moths um, bees dragonflies uh, featured on it which I think looks beautiful and then I popped this um, image it's from a vintage uh, ladybird book that a friend another friend um, um, handed on to me a little while ago and there's um, I think it looks beautiful beautiful and so I just um, laid it with some music paper and some lace and put that in going in um, this is the uh, theme love builds up and so I've just done a little collage on the front so that's going to be for that particular theme um, and this is from a little book about cottage gardens English English cottage gardens and I absolutely love it absolutely love it so if you can see there I've tea dyed it slight bit of damage there but I've just left it as is and I'll kind of I'll just cure it that way that's the theme script of the day And then what I've done, um, I did before, is the um, I popped the program for the morning and the afternoon, and they're movable. So I've just dressed it a little bit, and it's movable. So wherever you stop with your notes, you can sort of move it along, and then the afternoon flips over like so, which I think is quite nice because we all take notes at different rates, at different speeds, and so um, you can't really pop um, too much in a regimented way. Um, well, this this journal gives you the freedom to do that. Gives you the freedom. So, right, let's carry on. So, a different selection of tea dyed and um, non tea dyed paper. A little um, 
little snippet here um, I picked up from a, a book on beekeeping that I just had in my stash actually because I loved it and I thought that looks quite nice. Uh, uh, honey beekeeping, yes. Another beautiful little little pop of colour here, Ladybird book, which I think looks beautiful. So country cottage. And I think they, this book goes back to the fifties. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now I do have um, so themes from the songs, from the program, and the talks as well. I've just popped in sporadically. Scented garden book, this uh, book page, which is beautiful. Just left it as is. Tea dyed. I had to remind myself again not to over embellish because it is actually for note taking. So I had to restrain myself with lace and beads and all sorts of things and just stick to the embellishing with the um, uh, cardstock. Greetings card, which I thought looked really nice. Um, paired with this, that was an image from the beekeeping book, and I just thought the floral on that was nice and uh, with a little bee on it. Okay, so I've done um, 40 pages in each of the books, that's 80 sides. Uh, so for a day, I think that should be enough for the most avid note taker. Uh, basically on the inside, um, on the straight ends of the strings, I've just punched out these little lovies, they look more like wasps to be fair. Uh, but from the same paper pad as this one and I just thought well that looked quite nice I love these marigolds and that's um, hives is it? hives, yeah a picture of some hives in a little cottage garden there I thought that looked quite pretty another little visitor here on the side do you know, ages ago I did a, a little traveller's notebook called the honeybee and um, I ordered a lovely stamp um, yeah, wooden stamp of a honeybee. I couldn't find it anywhere to be fair, but I remember being absolutely shocked when I got it. Um, when I got it, it was absolutely huge. It was a huge, huge, yeah. Anyway, there you go. Just as an aside, it looked like a bit like a monster. afternoon and uh, yeah got the different um, scrapbook papers and the little butterfly and these are the answers the review questions at the end of the day a bit of a collage there for my big book on world flowers there you go so that is number one that's the first um, the first of the two books uh, journals and the next one I've done again very similar, very similar um, on the similar scrapbook paper and layered again. This is a smaller picture, but it's from the same book, The Ladybird. I love it, absolutely love it. So I thought I'd pop that on the front and then go in. I actually love, really love how this turned is turned out because you've got the cottage. Oh, it's beautiful, beautiful. I think there's a little poem on the back about cottage gardens. And on the back, just here, if you see tucked away, there's this little honeybee. It's very difficult trying to keep the honeybee in and keep most of this picture, because I love this. And so, of course, I've just um, done the uh, the theme of the day and um, collage with the different um, scrapbook papers and the beautiful green butterfly, which I think it did a great lift. And this one I decided to add uh, a bit of vibrant green, some of my Daphne's Diary stickers, the latest ones, uh, sticker book that I picked up, so you'll see those dotted about, just so it's slightly different. Uh, I think that's beautiful. This is a picture of a swarm, apparently, honeybee swarm. Uh, the program on this one, I basically just popped onto cards stock back and front, punched out some of the little, these like little tulips 
um, and then um, I popped them, turned them over, stuck them on the top there, if you can see that, and on this side I've just done a little butterfly and the wings come up, but uh, kept it quite simple, quite simple and quite easy to move around and write on, should you wish to, but it actually looks nice, just paired with different pages, isn't it, you know, anyway, anyway, let me just pop that there for now, and again, right, so that's that one. Beautiful, beautiful pages from the scented garden. So I have, do have one for myself, just for looking at, as well as one for using and sharing in journal. This was from a book. Remember, twenty-two books. Beautiful, feels absolutely gorgeous. Little Daphne's diary on the top there. Daphne's diary and um, sticker. bit about the butterfly, caterpillar, and this sort of two and six, can you imagine two and six? I thought I'd leave that in just because it's, I wanted it to feel kind of junky, kind of junk journaly, country cottage-ish, um, bits and pieces popped together, didn't want it to be too pristine, um, and I hope I've got the mix right, I hope I've got the mix right, I love this again, it's a Daffy's diary, and I have noticed some people, particularly I think Stacey Carpenter does this mix of really vibrant Daphne's Diary things and some grungy bits. She gets it just right and um, so it's made me step out a little bit and pop new newer bits in with more vibrant bits with the grungy. Just thought I'd pop that little journal prompt. Um, I think it's a talk, one of the talks. It's right onto the the page and I thought that with this not exactly the same colour but I just love the way it looked and I put the butterfly on there. So again you've got the little well I don't know if you think they're bees or wasps they kind of look kind of waspy to me but anyway in that sort of area beautiful 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 and then um, that's from that book on country cottage gardens and that just happened to be in there which i think is lovely lovely beautiful image okay so the yellow paper some of it's been tea dye some of it's been left back of that greetings card um and i just that was uh from the bee book as well I Take that out and I'll pop it in there. Love that. I love the way that works out with that. I like, you know, these are quite nice when they're pottering about the garden, although I don't particularly do bugs, so they're kind of buggy for me. Um, not what I'd have in my own journal, to be fair, but each to their own, thankfully. And that I think looked quite nice. Been quite busy. Just a little bit of a botanical washing here. And there, that's towards the end of the. There's that. Which is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I don't think there were any bees there, but it was in the same Ladybird book, and I love it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Thought it went really nice with a country cottage type of feel. Beautiful, that yellow and pink. Such a lovely combination of colours. It's Daphne's diary. This is from Rosie R. Atelier, this beautiful botanical specimen type washi. So I'm hoping that, well, I think there's enough journaling space. We do questions at the end. There you go. And I'll just pop this little collage in the back. So you've got your hunt, your actual honey, your butterfly, and that's the back. That's the back. So that's the two. Oh yes, and on the back of the spines, um, I've just on this one I've just popped some fabric, and on this one I've just popped some linen, linen strip. So that is the first. I think I might do a few more of these, you know. Um, so it's a lovely gift. Both uh, assemblies. 
I hope she likes it. Um, I think she will. that's it thank you for joining me guys um i have just finishing off some uh assembly notebooks in singles um i've got a bit of a waiting list for both programs um and i will be listing those shortly um and that's it so i will be working on um my giveaway journal i have got it kind of put together but um We've, we're actually really nearly reaching um, a thousand followers on Instagram and uh, so I've been popping a little journal together for a while but I'll be doing a giveaway with that and a couple of other bits as well um, just to say a big thank you for uh, uh, on Instagram for the followers for that anyway take care guys hope you've enjoyed this found it useful um, speak to you next time bye bye bye